We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. These are five of the hottest earbuds of 2020. They all rate very high with customer reviews in regards to listening to podcasts and music, but how well can they do with noise cancellation? Let's find out. These headphones all claim to do one thing very well, and that is block all the outside noise as you're listening. So I think our first test should be to see how well it can block out the TV. To make this video a little more official, I purchased this decimal reader so we can get a perfect readout of how loud things are as I do the test. To go ahead and give me a baseline of how loud I should turn the volume on the TV, I'm gonna go ahead and set the volume to max. It'll capture the loudest I speak right now, and we'll stick around that. Looks like we're at about 73.1. Next up are these Sony WF-1000M3s. It's got a very long name for such a simple headphone. They're supposedly known for good noise cancellation. And while doing my test watching TV, they did a good job of listening to a podcast of blocking out about 98% of what was being said on the TV. I could tell that there was someone talking on the TV, but for the most part, it did a really good job. Now, if someone in the podcast actually stopped talking for a second, I was able to hear what was said on the TV, but for the most part, someone's always talking on the podcast and I couldn't really understand what the background noise was at the time. Now, in regards to listening to music on these and trying to watch TV at the same time, it did a really good job. There's constant music and constant noise and constant singing going on in the music, which blocked out 100% of what was going on, on that TV, and I didn't have to turn up to full max. At about half the volume on my phone, I was able to actually block it out. So it didn't have to be super loud to block out the TV. So overall, these do a pretty good job. Next up are these Isotunes Free. It's a cordless pair of headphones that do a really good job. Now, while doing my TV test of listening to the podcast and watching TV, I was able to block out almost all of what was being said and I could just hear a slight mumble of voices. Now, if the podcast were actually to stop or pause, I could at that point determine what was being said on the TV, but uh, for the most part, podcasts go pretty quickly and you really couldn't make out what the background noise was. When it comes to listening to music on these, they did a pretty good job. Now, we did have to turn them all the way up to max to try to block out the TV. It wasn't 100%. I could slightly still hear it. That might be in due to part that Isotunes has worked really hard to make sure that these are OSHA approved, meaning these are actually approved to be hearing protection at a job site. I also believe that they may have lowered down the volume at which you can turn it up, so it's just a smidgen lower than what some of these others are. But if you wish to get around that, you can, and you can do so by downloading a third-party app for free. This one is called Extra Volume Boost, and it allows you to turn the volume up just a little bit louder than what you could stock. Now, again, you could turn this volume completely up, but there's no need for that. So again, a few ticks above the normal volume is plenty, and testing the TV with this, with my music on, I was able to 100% block out what was on the TV, and this did just fine. Next up are these Isotunes Pro 2.0. These are a corded version of the Isotunes. They are also OSHA approved to be used as hearing protection. Now during my TV testing, listening to my podcast while the TV was on, it did block out most of what was being said on the TV. I could hear faint voices talking, but couldn't understand the clarity of what was being said. Now when it came to listening to music with these with the TV on, it completely blocked out what was being said. I was pretty impressed. Again, that was only about of a volume of just a tick below full volume. So overall, these did really good. Next up are these Naki AirPods. They're knockoff Apple AirPods, and they do a really good job of filling the air canal and giving you some pretty good noise cancellation. I was pretty surprised being that they're not foam tip. Now, in my testing of the TV, listening to the podcast, it did drown out the TV, 
very well. I got it up to about halfway up on the volume of the phone before they were louder in my ear than what was on the TV and all I could hear was what was in the air. Same with the music. I got them up about halfway on the volume on the phone before the TV got drowned out and all I could hear was the music on the ear. I did find that these have a lot of bass and treble so it does uh, provide for a lot of really good sounding music in here, but I find that these are more or less giving you a much higher volume than some of these others can go. I think it's probably less regulated, but overall they sounded pretty good. Up next are these Jaybird X3s. They are a corded headphone, but did really well on my testing. When watching TV with the podcast on, I was able to block out the TV pretty easily at about halfway up the phone volume. Now the same with listening to music. Halfway up the phone volume, I wasn't able to hear anything on the TV. And then maybe due to these very nice foam tips that are on these, they do a great job of blocking the air canal. Next, I test for noise cancellation against this Dewalt Orbital Sander. The sander is capable of producing 108 painfully loud decimals. Let's see how each earbud performs while listening to podcasts and music. The sander is extremely loud. It's still pretty loud in the Sony's, but I was able to turn the volume all the way up and block out the noise. So I was able to turn the volume up louder than the sander itself, but Again, I do hear quite a bit of the sander. This next tool needs no introduction. The angle grinder. It can scream to 108 decimals and can be heard a block away. Let's see how the earbuds do against this ear piercing tool. All right, so that was interesting. These don't do a great job of actually blocking out the extra noise. You can turn the volume up to try to drown out the volume of the noise, but they're not good at actually being an earplug and blocking it all out. That was fairly loud in these. So let's go ahead and try some music with them and see how that does. Okay, again, I had to turn it up to pretty much max volume to be able to drown that out. Again, I can hear the loud noise coming through these and uh, it's pretty obnoxious, but I mean, it's not, I mean, it's better than not wearing anything, but you can definitely tell that that thing is on and it is pretty high pitched in these. So um, moving on to the next one. Okay. Again, interesting. These are probably one of the loudest ones I've heard so far in regards to hearing the saw, but these didn't act as earbuds. They do block out some of the noise, but I did hear a lot of the saw itself. So there was quite a bit of saw blade that I did hear. Um, I was able to turn the volume up over top of it. So I wouldn't wear these probably in the shop because so far in my testing, I just haven't found that they are blocking out the sound. I can turn the volume up over the sound, but it's not blocking out the sound. So uh, noise cancellation, maybe not. Uh, maybe if I switch to a different kind of tip, if they had a foam tip, then maybe better, but um, that's kind of where we're at on these. Okay, with the music playing, I was able to turn it up over the volume of this by going to max volume, but I still did hear the, the saw, so um, it was a little bit better than what it was with the podcast, but overall, I could still hear the saw on this, and it's not like it's an earplug. It, it's still kind of loud, so anyway, that's how the, uh, the Sony's acted there. All right, there is some noise isolation with the Nakis. It does a pretty good job of knocking down the the noise that's going on with the sander. Now then again, the volume is easy to boost much higher than the, uh, the sander itself. So overall, these did pretty good. Um, I would have to rate them probably about third place, um, right behind the Isotunes Pro 2.0. All right, again, the Nakis are able to overpower the volume on this. Again, there is some noise suppression going on there. It's not just overly powerful, but I'm not hearing a lot of high pitched noise from this thing. So it is knocking down quite a bit of the sound. Again, I can turn the volume up quite a bit louder than this. So 
they're very powerful in regards to the volume. Yeah, so in regards to the Nakis when doing the grinder test, I found that these can go extremely loud, so much so it was starting to hurt my ears, I had to turn it back down. But in regards to the grinder, it was probably just a little bit better in regards to uh, noise cancellation than the Sony's. It's just a little bit better. Um, pretty much all the others did a much better job. So uh, this is definitely uh, second to last and uh, last being the Sony's. So when listening to music on the Nakis, it actually did a pretty decent job of blocking out the sound on the grinder. A little bit better than it was on the podcast. Um, again, this can go extremely loud, way too loud for human ears. But uh, I had to keep it notched down, but you can kind of drown it out. But it did have some kind of noise isolation. I think it was just mainly because the music could be pretty loud and it was a lot going on in the music that kind of blocked out all the, the excess sound. All right, the Nakis with the podcast did a pretty good job, better than the Sony's. Um, there was actually some noise cancellation. I didn't hear this too bad. Again, I can push the volume easily over that, but there was a little bit of noise cancellation with these, surprisingly being they're just hard plastic. All right, so in regards to the music with the Nakis, it did a pretty good result as well. Uh, couldn't hear the saw that much. Um, pretty well blocked it out better than the Sony's. Uh, I was able to turn up the volume over top of the saw easily and could hear it. Um, overall, not too bad for a piece of plastic, but uh, again, a step above the, uh, the Sony's, but not as good as the Jaybirds and the Isotunes in regards to the foam tips. So uh, that's kind of how these rate. All right, so the Isotunes did a pretty good job of blocking out the noise, but I can't understand what's being said on the podcast. So let's try music real quick and see how that does. Again, on the Isotunes free, trying to listen to music, I'm not able to understand what they're saying on the music. I can barely hear it. Uh, did not turn on the third-party app. Overall, um, I could start to barely hear what was being said in the podcast. I've got it all the way max volume, but... We're gonna go ahead next and see if we can turn up the volume with the extra volume booster app and see what happens there, but. Okay. With the extra volume boost, I had to go up to that point right there to actually be able to hear what was being said on the podcast. All right, same result in regards to the Isotunes free when listening to music. I had to leave the extra volume boost on and up to that point to be able to actually hear the music. So it does require the app. But uh, overall, the noise of it didn't hurt my ear. That was pretty impressive. They work excellent as earplugs. I mean, it, I thought I had earplugs in for a moment. Anyway, uh, I did not have the uh, volume booster on. I could hear it. I could hear it. It was just a little light. Let's go ahead and turn the volume booster on just a little bit and try it again. Okay, so with the volume booster, I was able to hear it. It doesn't sound as crisp and as clear as if I didn't turn the volume booster on, but I was able to hear it, and these do work really well as earplugs, so if you just want to buy them for earplugs, they did great for that, but uh, did have to turn the volume boost. I turned it up to there, so um, again, it takes a little bit more to be able to hear with these, but uh, overall, these did an excellent job as earplugs, so let's go ahead and try the next one. Okay, again with the music playing on the Isotunes Free, I was just barely able to hear the music, but for the most part, I would have to go to the volume boost to turn it up just a little bit louder. So, uh, again, works great as an earplug, but I needed just a little bit more to hear the volume on the song as this was on. But again, I don't really hear it when I have these on. It's just, it's pretty noisy and I can't really hear the song that well. All right, zero issues with the Isotunes Pro 2.0. I've got the volume all the way at max, but I can clearly hear everything that's being said in this podcast, so good marks on them. All right, again, on the Isotunes Pro 2.0, listening to the music, I was able to hear absolutely everything that was being said. I did not have to run the third-party app. Did a good job, did have to run it at max, but I was able to clearly hear what was being said. With the Isotunes Pro 2.0, a little bit above halfway here, is enough volume to drown that out and I don't hear any high-pitched noise I just hear it in the background but 
does a good job. Just short of full max, I can easily drown out the sound of it with plenty of good music. I could probably go a couple ticks slower, but again, don't hear any of the harmful sounds of that. I just hear the uh, grinder in the background. So overall, very good on these and uh, definitely passed the test. Okay, so the Isotunes Pro 2.0 did an excellent job, 100%. Couldn't hear any of the harmful noises of this. It just sounded like something was very dampened in the background, but overall did an excellent job. It sounded like I had earplugs in, honestly. I had to turn the volume all the way up to max. I don't have the volume booster. Just take it all the way up to max and I could hear the podcast. Let's go ahead and try the music now. All right, once again, did an excellent job. Again, they just seem like earplugs. Uh, I was able to listen to the music. I did turn all the way up to max, but about a tick or two below the very max volume was plenty for this. I could still hear the uh, music clearly, but uh, overall, these do an excellent job as being earplugs. All right, the Jaybirds on the podcast easily were able to turn up loud enough and they actually did an excellent job of blocking out all the noise. So very good on the Jaybirds in regards to the podcast. Let's go ahead and listen to some music real quick. All right, again, they were able to go about halfway up and be able to have enough volume to block out what was going on with the sander. Again, they do a really good job of blocking out all the noise from the sander as well. So uh, Jaybirds did very, very well and that possibly the best in all of the testing so far. Volume was halfway up on the X3s. Did a great job of blocking out the sound. Volume was halfway up. Did a great job of blocking out all the sound. When it comes to the Jaybird X3s, these do an excellent job of listening to a podcast. It completely blocked out all of that high pitch noise that comes with the miter saw. I can still hear the miter saw, but it's definitely a very toned down noise. Now, in regards to the volume on the podcast, I only had to go about a tick past halfway on the volume. So overall, these did the very best in the podcast miter saw test. When it comes to the Jaybird X3s and listening to music, these by far did the very best in regards to blocking out all that high pitched noise. It really took the blade down to almost a low hum. Now I could still tell that it was on, but again, much lower of a hum than even in the podcast. Now when it came to the volume on these, I only had to take them to about halfway in regards to the volume to still be able to clearly understand what was being said in the music. And overall, the Jaybird X3s did the very best in the miter saw and music test. Next, I want to look at the real strengths and weaknesses of each earbud and how they perform side by side. Let's look at their features and which one will best suit you. One of the cheapest earbuds in this review at $70, the Nakis give you the most space for your buck. They have a very nice feature of pausing when you take them out and surprisingly they're very comfortable for hard plastic. These are the loudest pair of earbuds I've ever worn and they will hurt your ears if you take them to max. They fall short on battery life at only 2.5 hours of play. I did notice a slight tin can effect when playing music, but only noticed it when comparing them to the Sony's. They by far were the worst for trying to make a phone call. My wife attempted to hang up on me because the quality was so bad. They work okay to turn the volume up over top of people talking, but I don't recommend them as ear protection as they barely blocked out any of the harmful noises. The Sony's were the very best sounding earbuds in this review. They sound like you're sitting next to the person during a podcast or at the recording studio when they're making the music. These also were the most expensive earbuds in the test at a whopping $250. They claim to be great at noise cancellation and they do an amazing job of totally blocking out people talking and the TV. Trust me, I blocked out my wife many times during the tests and they work awesome. I found the volume to be great and they too have that very cool pausing feature that allows you to pause and resume when you remove them from your ears. Sadly, they did become uncomfortable 40 minutes in on multiple tries due to their elongated plastic tip design. They rated the worst in all of my testing when it comes to the suppressing power tool noises. They allow lots of high pitched noises to leak into the ears with those stock tips and I don't recommend these as ear protection unless you can find a better aftermarket foam tip that can seal the ears better. 
The Isotunes Pro 2.0 had a very solid performance in all of my testing. This $99 pair of corded earbuds sounded great and they're very comfortable. They also work awesome as ear protection. They had plenty of volume, a little below the Jaybirds, but I was able to clearly hear the podcast and music when working with power tools. These give you the longest battery life, 16 plus hours, and I found these to be the very best at phone calls. The call quality was best for the person on the other end when leaving one earbud in and one dangling under my chin. Going from cordless to these, you do notice the cord on your neck, and it takes some getting used to. I did notice listening to music that they are a little more flat than the Jaybirds in regards to bass, so keep that in mind if you're a bass junkie. Also, I noticed none of them in regards to the corded earbuds in this review offer the auto pause when you remove them from your ears, so that's something to keep in mind. The Jaybird X3s did an excellent job in all of my testing. They tie the Isotunes 2.0s for the very best in ear protection. They do allow a little bit more volume range than the 2.0s, so if you're hard of hearing, they do offer a little more volume. The Jaybirds do have an app on the App Store that allows you to customize the sound so you can add more treble or bass to your music. I found the battery life to be great at eight hours and the overall sound quality falls second to the Sony's, but it does have a little bit of bass if you're into that. They do have a cord and it does take some getting used to, but there's one major problem with the Jaybirds and it's their design of the proprietary charging cable. You can only charge it with this mini USB dock, so unless you have multiple of these USB docks, you're gonna be forced to only have one charging location in your house. But the bigger issue is that these docks wear out over time and no longer charge the earbuds. You have to force them down into the dock to make a connection so they'll charge. To combat this, I designed a 3D print to force the earbuds into the dock and that seems to work. But after purchasing two docks in one year, I'm done investing money into this charging system. The Icy Tunes Free did an excellent job of blocking out all the harmful noises in all of my testing. They too cost $99 and they have become one of my favorite earbuds in this review. They're comfortable in the ear and you'll enjoy their cordless design. I found unlike the corded version, they don't get snagged on your coat when you turn your head. You can pause and resume them by pressing the large button on the side of the earbud. The charging case is small and easily fits in your pocket. And yes, you'll need to run a volume boost app when you're running a lot of machines and power tools, but I understand how hard the company is working to get OSHA approved earbuds that we can use on our job sites. So, do the volume boost really work? And the answer is yes. Every test I tried with the volume boost, it was able to raise the volume to where I could hear it perfectly. I found there to be lots of apps that can boost the volume. Some apps really amplify the music and podcasts that may distort it more than others, but the one I showed in the video was the best sounding app out of the few I tried. With that said, I still find myself reaching for these constantly. Going for a jog, pumping iron in the gym, out in the shop tinkering, or maybe doing a little yard work around the house. These are excellent for everyday use without ever needing to fire up that volume boost. But when you're ready to go to World War III in your shop, we'll crank a little boost and those will perform like the rest of them. the very best in sound quality, it definitely went to the Sonys. The music was crisp and clear and the podcast sounded like you were sitting right across from the person talking. But when it came to noise cancellation, like blocking out high pitched noises on the chop saw and the grinders, it didn't do so well. I heard a lot of the high pitched noises in my ears. So these are great for sound quality in regards to blocking out voices like the TV and people talking, but stay away from using them for hearing protection. Comes to the Nakis, they did a great job of providing a lot of bass, more so than all the other headphones tested. The sound quality is not as good as the Jaybird X3s or the Sonys, but not bad for a knockoff pair of AirPods. There is a cool feature when you take it out of your ear, just like the Sonys, where it pauses the music or the podcast, and as soon as you put it back in, it makes a chime, and then it goes ahead and starts playing right where you left off. In regards to ear protection, these did not do so well. The chop saw, the grinder and the sanding were all heard really well and it was mostly just high pitched noises. So it does have a nice seal here and it would probably block out people talking, but I probably wouldn't use it around heavy machinery. When it comes to the Isotunes Free, they did an excellent job as hearing protection. In regards to the chop saw, the sander, and even the grinder had zero issues. But they do lack a little bit of volume, so be prepared to open a third party app to take it up a tick or two in really loud environments. Next up are these Isotunes Pro 2.0 headphones. They did excellent in all of my testing, so much so I'd have to say they probably tied with the Jaybird X3s. Now, in regards to the hearing protection, they did excellent against the compound miter saw. 
the grinder, and the sander. They really did block out all that high-pitched noise, and it just felt like I had hearing protection in the whole time. Now, when it comes to volume, I didn't have to use a third-party app. These go loud enough that you can actually hear your podcast or your music over top of those tools with no problem. Now, in regards to the sound quality, it may be just a tick below the Jaybird X3s. The Jaybirds have a little bit more bass, and these seem to be a little bit more flat, but during the podcast, I couldn't tell the difference. Overall, these are a great pair of headphones. Up next are these Jaybird X3s. Now these did excellent in all of my testing along with the Isotunes Pro 2.0s. Now when it comes to sound quality, it may just be a step below the Sony's, but overall the bass on these sounds pretty good when listening to music. In regards to hearing protection, they did a great job of blocking out all that high pitched noise on the compound miter saw, grinding, and even sanding. I heard none of it. It really felt like I had earplugs in the whole entire time. Now, in regards to volume, it also went way above the grinder and the sander, and you could turn it up maybe a tick or so above the Isotune, so they do good in that aspect. Overall, I think the Jaybird X3s and the Isotunes Pro 2.0s are definitely the winners in this testing. Yesterday, I went to the mall. You'll never guess who I ran into. It was Nancy from Finance. She has four kids now. Jimmy, Johnny, Jackie. Wait, are you playing earbuds? How are you going to hear me? Uh-huh.